Okay, in this image, we're going to add a drop shadow to the wooden doll that's in this image. Okay, our background is the ocean behind the doll. Our foreground is the wooden doll. Okay, on the layers palette, you'll see it's called figure. I've already separated this for you just to make this lesson a little bit easier. Okay, first thing we need to do, let's duplicate the figure. So I'm going to drag that layer to the new layer button. I've got two figures, okay? I'm going to do this on the top figure. We're going to do what's called loading the selection. We'll hold the command key. Notice, and I'm over the icon in the layers palette. It looks like the marching ant box. Click it. Okay, what that does is it puts the marching ants all around whatever is on that layer. In this case, it's the figure. I'll turn everything off so you can see what's there. It's just the marching ants is the outline of the figure. Okay, now we're creating a shadow. So we need to fill this layer with a um, black color. So edit fill. We'll change the uh, use to black. Okay, 100% opacity. Okay, and click OK, and there we go. We filled the selection with black. That's all we did. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the marching ants. Command D. Okay, I'm going to then move that shadow behind the figure. So now it's hidden. You can't see it. To transform the um, shadow, to drop it down, edit transform and we'll do distort okay brings up the handles I'll take the top one right in the middle here hold the mouse down and just drop this down okay so here's our shadow for the wooden doll okay hit the return key to set it and one other thing we'll do filter blur we'll Gaussian blur it Move this onto the screen, okay? And we'll just do a little bit. I'm at like 5.6 there or so. Yeah, something like that. And then the last thing over here under uh, on the layers palette, the opacity, we could drop that down a little bit. So there is our shadow for the wooden doll. Okay, in this image, we have the Eiffel Tower. We're going to place it in the next image, which is the seashore. In order to get uh, isolate the Eiffel Tower, we first must get rid of the um, clouds in the background, and we'll get rid of the space. Also, we have the clouds in between the cross beams of the Eiffel Tower. The way to get rid of that is to double-click the background layer, click OK. That unlocks it magic wand we'll set our tolerance at about 30 we'll click in the shadows here i'm sorry we'll click into the sky here okay select similar okay it fills in the rest of the clouded sky area it gets in between the cross beams of the eiffel tower uh, at the base of the eiffel tower hit the return key command d to deselect okay move tool and move it to the tab of the seashore and place it onto the stage right here okay a few things to clean up this little area right here and the base uh, we will use the eraser for the little area right there and for the base we'll just use the rectangular marquee make a selection get rid of the tops of the trees right up here that looks good delete key gone command D to deselect move tool and let's see, that's a little too high, so we'll Command T, we'll transform this. I'll hold the Shift key to keep it proportional. Let's see, hey, there we go, I like that right there. Return key to set it. Okay, so on my Layers palette, I have the Eiffel Tower. I'm going to duplicate it. Now I have two, I'm gonna rename this one Shadow, so we don't get confused here. Okay, on my Shadow layer, we need to load the selection. So that's command key, click on the layer icon in the layers um, palette. The little marching ant box shows up, click that. And again, it selects whatever's on that layer. And if we remember, we, the only thing on that layer is the Eiffel Tower. That's why the marching ants are up. We'll fill this with black. So edit, 
fill, and we'll use black, okay, 100% opacity, click OK, we filled it with black. Now at this point, you have to take the marching ants off, Command D. If you don't, it leaves like a black outline, the artifact of that uh, selection. So deselect it, makes your life easier. We'll move it, uh, well, actually, we'll keep it in front of the Eiffel Tower. Okay, so we have the shadow, Eiffel Tower. Edit. Transform. Distort, we'll use this one again. And we'll just keep it really simple, really basic. This is really about just teaching you this process of shadow. We'll just drop it across the land here. Okay. To get more fancy, we, we'd probably just sort this a little bit later on if, as we learn more techniques. But for right now, drop it down, filter, blur, Gaussian blur. We'll change the shadow here, the radius, and we'll get it more blurry. There we go. Um, I'm at 19, somewhere around there. Click OK. And then another thing you can do on the shadow if you want to change the layer mode, you can try it for maybe uh, overlay, um, which kind of has the shadow disappear in the white caps. Okay, um, try any of these, play around, see what happens. Okay, but that's really it for this uh, tutorial. Okay, the third of the three shadow tutorial um, images. Power tower, we're gonna move it to the cornfield. This is exactly like the Eiffel Tower, so I'm just doing this again so you do it as a review. We need to get rid of the blue background. We've got a structure that we can see through, so we will, uh, to get rid of the blue, we'll double click the layer. Okay, we unlocked it. Magic wand, select some place in the blue. Uh, my tolerance is set at 30. Select, similar. It gets the rest of the blue in the image, including what's in between the crosshairs. Delete, Command D to deselect, okay. We'll get rid of this in the next step. Move tool, move it to the cornfield. Okay, now it's too big for this uh, cornfield. To transform it, Command T. I'll grab the handle, hold the Shift key to keep it proportional, and I'll get it in place right here. And we'll throw it right here, and then eventually we'll just we'll just add the shadow going across here. All right. Um, for this bottom part, rectangular marquee. Let's get rid of that uh, the tops of those bushes right there. Delete it, the bottom part, deselect, okay. So our power tower, let's see, since I cut that out, I can make it a little bit taller. We'll stretch it up high. All right, now, steps are the same. First thing, duplicate the power tower. I've got two of them on my layers palette. Command, click on the layer icon to load the selection. You'll hear me say that over and over again in class. Load the selection. Puts the marching ants in. Edit, fill, we'll fill this with black because that'll be our shadow color. Deselect before you do anything else. Um, in this case, let's move it on the layers palette behind the Eiffel Tower. So now uh, behind the power tower, we'll, the shadow's behind it. Edit, transform, distort, and we'll just take it and drop it, uh, drop it down this way. Hit the return key. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Uh, and we'll do it like that. And then we could always come in and see if we want to stretch it out a little bit more, something like that. All right. And that's how you make a shadow. Eventually, we'll learn how to blend the bottom in here. But for now, we're just worried about shadows. Thank you.